Hey, party people that listen to my channel. You know, this is mostly a tarot channel. I was using soap. I forgot I had a uh, body wash. You hear the water in the background. That means I'm in the shower. But when I think of these things, I gotta come and say them. Because if I don't say this now while I'm thinking about it, I'll do something else and I won't ever record this. And then I have things I record that I've never actually put out for whatever reason. So I just wanted to say this because you know, over the last year or so, I guess, that I've been on YouTube, I've seen the whole MGTOW movement and the saying, women have hit the wall and all this hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall, right? And I'm not, I, I don't go too deep in that stuff. I can kind of get what it is just from the little bit I've heard about this whole MGTOW and I guess all these men is trying to grow some balls now, right? I guess their nuts are just dropping at like 40 and 50. I don't, I don't know what the case is. But this is really more for the women. And this is for the men too, just so you understand something. So, ladies, most of these men, the men who do not come out of the womb like looking good with the personality. Because it's not just about, because a lot of people may think, okay, well, men have the upper hand. You know, men rule the world, but the world is just is just an example of the esoteric version of things. So yes, men rule the world, but there's always a woman something behind the men controlling it and and doing their part. So it's like men move the neck, but the women move the body. You get what I'm saying? Men men control the mind, but the woman controls the heart, which therefore plays into the controlling of the mind. So if you haven't got that down, if you don't understand that, then you come. You just had to come back when things are a little bit more basic because it's really not up for argument or debate. That's just what it is out here. So when you hear terms like, you know, the men who are part of the MGTOW movement, you know, men going their own way or they have this big thing on women hitting the wall. Well, I assume or I would take into accountability or I would take into account or I would deduce, I would deduce that men got that way from being hurt over women in their lifetime. Because a normal human being, that's just like a woman who says, well, I'm going to swear off men and just date women for the rest of my life or something like that or just be lonely or, or I'm going to carry guys like this or do this because I've been hurt or any, or something like that. Now, we all go through that. We all go through difficulties, trials, tribulations that cause us to kind of, and that's what life is about, to get the lesson, to reflect, and to move on. You know what I mean? And change yourself is really to show you something about yourself to change and to move on and to do things differently if you want a different results, the next go round, right? Or the next opportunity that you have with, with whatever said thing is that we're talking about. So relationship, the next person you deal with or whatever. So we all go through things that cause us to examine our behavior, things we deal with, accept all of, the, all of that, those things that may have gotten us into whatever situation that didn't work out. And you change your behavior, you get smarter, you get wiser, you play your game a little better and everything like that. Well, I'm assuming that these men got so fed up or anybody who's a part of those women hit the wall movements or MGTOW movements. And it's all in an effort. I would think it's based off of the fact that the, the older women get typically, I guess, they're viewed as less valuable. So. All of my folks who are into spirituality and everything like that, you kind of know those as the stages of the maiden, the the uh, the maiden. I, I forgot all of them, but there's like stages that they say women are at in their lives. And they go from like the maiden to the crone. The crone is the older woman. Let me see. I just want to get those specific names for you guys. Let me just see if I can pull it up. Let's do stages of a woman, stages of womanhood. Okay, so let's see. Let me see if I can get this. Sorry, I have to, to dry off. I'm cold. So the stages that I see, just the simple version of the stages are um, of the life cycle of a woman are the maiden. That's when you're young. You're, you're adolescent, you're a little girl, you're the maiden, right? You, you haven't really discovered life, you haven't, uh, you haven't born any kids or anything like that. 
then you go into the mother phase. And I would say your mother phase is probably going to be just thinking about old times when maybe people didn't used to live as long or things like that. I'm going to say the main phase is probably, and you, you'd have to adjust these, the ages. I don't know. I'm going to pull up this article and see if they give specific age, um, specific ages to each stage. But I'm just telling you what I would say the ages are. And you would have to discuss, you would have to change that for time. Be just because people didn't used to live as long and things of that nature, right? So I'm going to say in, in, in yesterday's world, in the old world, Maiden probably went up until about, you know, 18 to your 20s when you're getting older. It may have it even started after your first cycle or period. So then when you have kids or when you don't, when you're in that certain age range, you move into the stage of motherhood. That's when you're maturing, you're nurturing, even if you don't have your own kids. Maybe you've got nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, you know, people that you nurture. And these changes could be, these phases could be interchangeable. They really don't, generally they equate to age, but you could be in a crone stage when you're 18 or 19, just because of the things you've been through in life. Or you might be in a maiden stage, maybe you got preg uh you might be in a mother stage, maybe you got pregnant earlier or something like that. So the 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 stages aren't trip or aren't finite to an age, but you can kind of get the general idea overall. And then I would say crone is probably when you're up around your forties or fifties in yesteryear. Nowadays, I really wouldn't give a woman a crone until she's probably 60 or older because people are younger. I know women that are 40 that, that look like 30 year olds or better than 30 or younger. So I mean, I'm a new woman who are 50 that look like they could be in their 30s. So, you know, age is give or take. But the crone is when you have the wisdom. I know crone sounds terrible, but it's when you have the wisdom, when you have the knowledge that's been gained from just being in life and going through experiences and being in a world and you have age on your side, right? So those are kind of the brief stages. So I suppose the men who are with these movements or, or who or, or who using the phase hit the wall, they use that to represent or to, or to say or identify women who, hey, you may have, you know, overlooked these guys when you were younger. Maybe you went for all the bad boys and the playboys. Maybe you went for all the guys that didn't treat you right. You got out here, you got dogged in your 20s. You got a couple of kids and, and you're single with no baby daddy you've never been married maybe you never had kids you know so those are things to signify or you start getting desperate you know you 40 or 50 or 60 dressing younger trying to act younger you know you aren't you know you get to a point where maybe if you're not in some idyllic relationship or something you realize oh my god I hit the wall I missed all my opportunities um I don't look as young anymore you know fucking life is over for me you know what I mean that's what hitting the wall always sounds like to me it's basically a woman or a person who's gotten through all of their good years which are namely your your teens your 20s now you're getting into the 30s and 40s and you're hitting the wall. You're fat. You're ugly. You ain't got no man. Your kids ain't shit. Your job ain't shit. And you just, you out of luck. You ain't shit, right? So without having a formal breakdown of it, that's what I get from hitting the wall. But see, I think what ladies and men need to remember is what I notice is a lot of these men... And, and it makes, I think, cause, because women already deal with something with age. Me, myself, I'm moving to, to my upper 30s, getting out of my 30s, crossing that 40-year-old 40 mark, 40 mark line. So you deal with age. I mean, I think that's when you really start to have a, a, a revelation that, damn, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. Like, I don't even know if we could still call, call ourselves relatively young. I mean, you've lived about a half of a lifetime at that point, maybe more than half for some of us. But, you know, you get to that phase where you really start questioning age. At that point, a woman's biological clock is ticking. So you can't have kids like 100 years old like men can do. So when you start to talk about age, uh, it's thought or what I hear from the MIG towers or the, the hit the people who use those terms hit the wall or just the male players who think that 
their dick ain't wrinkled and sagging once they get older and like a younger woman really wants them and not what they have to offer. Okay. So just for those men who think like that, they just think they got it made because they really don't. But just for the ones who think like that, you know, they can still do those things when they're older. Women can't. So you're thought to have wasted your life and hit and you hit a wall, right? But the thing about when they're saying people hit the wall, see ladies, at least you've had that opportunity to have those experiences, to live. Because if you're a woman nobody wants, they don't care if you hit the wall or not. Because they're not paying you any attention. I always, I, They're not paying these men any attention. But I always feel like it's the women who these men would have wanted to be with or want, would have wanted to have. But for whatever reason, they never got that opportunity. So this woman was maybe popular. She got a choice of different guys and never choose these guys who are using who are with the MGTOW and the hitting the wall. Right. And the thing about it is the woman had those opportunities. She lived her life. She had her fun. Maybe she did because this is all general. Not every person's life <laughs> is like this. It, it's not the reality. For a lot of us, rather less uh, uh, the majority of us, but it's not it's not the reality of life is just not that simple. So the woman's had those opportunities. She's kind of dated around. She's got her choice of the alpha males. You know, she got a chance to experience that. And then what you'll notice that happens a lot of times, I suppose, is when people get older, of course you change. So you might not want the same things at 30 that you wanted at 20. You might not want the same things at 50 that you wanted at 30. So people change. So as you get older, maybe you find yourself interested in some of those guys that weren't the best looking or weren't popular and things like that. And then a woman gets that rap for being like a gold digger or, or being a user or not being shit, right? Because these guys who are with these movements seem to think that women really ain't no good when women play men just like men play women. I mean, the game is not mutually exclusive to any sex. People do across the board. This is men and women. People do what their options allow them to do. If you have a woman with a lot of options, beautiful woman, nice body, she's going to go nine times out of 10. And, and it's honestly, from what I'm seeing out here in this generation now, this isn't even really true because just because a woman is pretty, she could still be like a clown or corny. And a lot of times guys don't care about that when they first get with somebody. But once they get to know somebody, I think with the men, you know, because they're attracted based on what they see. So they might go for something and then they'll get to say, they'll get to know the female and say, oh, well, she's got a bird brain. She looks good, but that's all she's got going for her. And then generally any male, male that's an alpha who, who has any sense, he's not going to wife a female like that, or he's not going to keep a female like that, you know, where that's not his, somebody he plans to have a long-term committed relationship with because she's a bird brain right so we know looks matter are all that matter really with men on the surface but as a man gets to know a woman they become less and less important so ladies that's one tidbit to show you yeah your looks count but it's not all that matters so for those that don't look that good that should be a good point because you work on everything else then you can get the men that the really pretty or good looking girls get so don't let that discourage you because men are kind of slow that way so it's like saying you know when people are young they're going to do what your options allow you to do if a female is young and she's in high school or she's whatever and she has she's every guy wants her you know every guy is trying to get with her why would she just choose you and choose you exclusively what's so great about you that she should have chose you at like 16 17 18 years old or younger because we know you guys get your heart broken when you're really young and then you hold on to that shit for a lifetime and so what makes you so great that she should have chose you and if she didn't it just makes her a whole or ain't shit, she ain't shit, or she's fucking a whole bunch of people at one time. I mean, and I'm talking about common sense. I'm not talking about when you know you're dealing with the neighborhood hoe. And that goes both ways for the dudes and the females. You know when you're dealing with the neighborhood hoe. Some people are just the neighborhood hoe, whether it's male or female. So I'm not talking about you catching feelings and falling for the neighborhood hoe. Then want to act all hurt when you get hoed out. 
I mean, that, that's really what you should kind of expect. So I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about people who gen genuinely just got overlooked, not through any fault of the other person. And I, I find that when men talk about women who have hit the wall, you know, there's there's some animosity here and they can't wait to say a woman hit the wall. But you guys have hit the wall since you came out of the coochie. Like you've always been a wall. You as soon as you came out the coochie, it was a wall right there. Cause you've hit it since the begin since you were born. All of your life, it all of your existence has been a wall. You never were popular. You were always corny. Never got the girls you wanted. And now you get on YouTube, you get a couple dollars, and you think you somebody. But you always was at the wall. So, ladies, don't let these men make you feel any type of way when they start talking about, oh, women hit the wall, or you think you're getting older, you don't have any options, or you guys have got to bend over and just, just grovel and accept all of these men's wants and needs. No, at the end of the day, the value will always be on coochie. It's just how you use it. It's how you use it. You always have the choice of who you decide to deal with. You know what I mean? So if you go for high value men, if that's what you like, you'll go for that. And if there's a man who doesn't want to be with you or he wants to be a player or he wants to kind of treat you in a certain way because maybe you were the it girl and now you're older and you've opened your dating pool. I, I don't think what guys realize is it isn't always about somebody trying like for me when I was younger. I was cool with everybody. I was cool with the kids in the slower class who were thought to have some form of mental retardation. I was cool. I mean, I was the popular kid, but I was cool with all the popular kids. I was cool with those in between. I was never a person that looked at people a certain way. But I, the same way you didn't, if you had a choice, you would have been brought into this world being the man. You wouldn't have been a clown all your life. And then when you're 30 or 25 or 21 or 18, even nowadays, you all of a sudden talking about MGTOW, you wouldn't be that clown. You get what I'm saying? If you had a choice of what you wanted to come into life as. So women don't have that choice about what they want to come in a, into life as. And people are only going to go for what they're used to, what they're options allow them to go for and what and especially when you're young you haven't lived your life to learn lessons you don't know that if you mess with the cutest boy in the school he's he might dog you and play you and and all he's gonna want he's got all these options of other girls and you should have maybe mess with the guy that was less popular, not as cute because he would have treated you better. Nobody fucking knows that at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. So it's like those guys that who aren't able to get the women that they want to be with, they take a lot of that resentment and then they're turning into these MIG towers, MIG, MIG whatever you want to call it, MIG towers, and they're really dealing with hurt and pain, but it's masked off and pointing a finger at a woman saying, oh, you bitches are old and ugly now. You got 10 baby kids. You didn't hit the wall. But ladies, you got to always think smarter. Like when somebody tells you something or says something to you, and this is in any arena in life, whether it's your job, um, whether it's one of your friends, whether it's your family, you always got to think like you got to try to pick it apart and you always got to Think and have questions going in your head. Never let somebody just tell you what something is and you don't do anything but accept it for that. Because a lot of people is just liars and they just be on some bullshit. And a lot of the things that people say come from their own hurt and pain that they've experienced in their life. Because I guarantee you, if these MIG towers and these guys who saying women hit the wall, if they was popular and getting bitches since birth, they wouldn't be on here being MIG towers and um, saying all that shit. And then a lot of these guys, I don't care if you got the hardest player, the most attractive player. I don't care how much game they selling y'all. You ain't never going to change because you are who you are. You can put on a mask like you got yourself together. But you always going to be 
who you are. And that will never change. If you've never been a player, you ain't going to always turn in. You ain't going to all of a sudden turn into one because that corny shit going to come out sooner or later because you just can't change who you are. So I do think one of the best things is to find your value, find your passion, pay attention to yourself because that will make you a more confident person. But trying to be like anybody else, trying to be like these other guys and going into a whole MGTOW movement saying women hit the wall and swearing off women doesn't mean anything but you're gay. So, you know... I just want to put that out there because I think women who get older, they start to feel bad, even though they looking good, they looking just as good as the younger girls and they got it going on. They making the money. They had the freedom at that point of life to live their life. You know, you got the men telling you on here and the the guys is trying to get with the 20 year olds is trying to get with you. But you got the men on here telling you, you hit a wall. Well, tell they as they been hit the wall. They ain't never seen the other side of the wall. At least you lived your life, have some, had some fun and everybody has regrets, but they never got that opportunity. But now it's like, you know, they want to focus on women because they've been ugly clowns all of their life. And I don't mean that to be harsh. I just don't have time. I got to get off of this thing. I got some things to do. I don't have time to sugarcoat it for y'all. That's just like the bottom line of where these dudes are coming from, but you got to You, you you never just take something for what somebody's telling you. You got to think smarter and harder. So there is no wall. The wall is when you say that there's a wall. You have to do the same thing that men, these men are telling the other men. Just take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Stay looking good. You know what I mean? Freeze your eggs. Do whatever you got to do to live the life that you want to live, whether that's at 20 30, 40, 50, 60, or 70, and know that everybody makes mistakes and has challenges. And and even if you did choose that corny guy who's not that cute, as soon as you got with him and made him cuter, now he want to explore his options because he ain't never get bitches like that. You see, life just funny that way. And all of this stuff that people do, all of the smoke and mirrors really don't matter because at the end of the day, nobody can show you how to be yourself. They can only show you how to be them or, you know what I'm saying? Nobody can show you how to be yourself. You got to be yourself. And this is to the men who may be listening and the women. You got to be yourself at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Cause I done seen guys who ugly, they don't got no good body, but they got personality. You know what I'm saying? They popular, they get girls. So you don't never look at just certain aspects and think that's what you need to be somebody because everybody is different and somebody may look really good, but their personality may suck and you may have the bomb personality that goes for men and women. So it's not about, I think the point I'm making is if you, at the end of the day, if you was meant to be corny and not getting bitches, that's just not getting females. Sorry, y'all. I'm like I said, I'm still kind of young, so it's just my slang. That's just your your bag in life. That's just that's just the bag you got to deal with. It, it's not you can't point your fingers at other people because they didn't make good decisions or choose you or something, and now you want to swear off women because people are learning, and that's what life is all about—to be here and learn a, a lesson. And it's kind of like saying, okay, well, if you had the option. If a man had an option, it's like that fabulous line where he says, if you could have Beyonce, would you take Solange? It's nothing personal. It's just about options, availability, taste, you know, culture. The times is just what people want. Everybody can't be that nigga. Just like everybody can't be, everybody can't be that dude. Just like every female can't be that female. You know what I'm saying? It's the totem pole go all the way up. It's a long totem pole. And there's got to be people at the bottom as well as the top. And when it's your time, it'll rotate and it'll change. So I just had to say that. I, I made a video kind of talking about the MGTOW before, but it's still going on. And people just seem to be getting crazier than ever. Ever. So I thought this would be a really quick. I got all my tarot readings out for. I know I'm, I'm talking like I'm on crack, like I'm on super speed, right? Because I'm trying to get all this stuff out so I can go make some, the moves I got to make. But anyway, we got some things to do. But anyway, so I did all my readings for August. So until it's time to come back in September, I figured I'd just do this really quick and leave you all with this. 
I might come back and do a pick a card or whatever. But if I don't, you all will catch me for September readings as we get towards the end of August. Madam Max, Frequency Real Radio, I'm out of here. Bye.